I'll help determine how sensitive we can adjust the prosthesis. So if I put pressure on the toe, it'll show up on our software. Or if I bend the knee, it'll also show up on the software. And we can also adjust it to walk as fast as Teresa would like. How does the uh, how does that connect with the hydraulics? Does the the software um, control the hydraulic response from the pressure from the heel and the foot and the toe? What it's doing is it's gathering information from a strain gauge in the ankle, which is reading pressure on the heel or the toe, and it sends that information to the microprocessor, which also is getting information from the knee. So combined at 50 times per second. It's evaluating how she's walking, and then it's going to adjust the hydraulic valves accordingly. Okay, thank you. Another improvement. He did that intuitively. Very good. Because he could trust it. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to stop on the. I wouldn't be able to stop on my toe to just keep on walking over. That's right. Because once the toe contact would hit, your knee would buckle. My knee would just. Now you can ride it. Like when I was in there and I was demonstrating that. Right. Once I released the knee, that was it. I was on the ground. Yeah. I feel like the bottom of my stump is working harder than it usually does. Would that happen? So you're still trying to push back hard? Don't. Yeah, you want to relax? Yeah, I'm not relaxing. I'm holding myself stiff. I don't yeah. want you to trust. I want you to just walk like you're Congrats. half asleep. If you're half asleep, you don't care. Just let it go. This knee will not buckle on you. Now, the one thing is on your left side, you lost this shock absorption. Okay. On the left side. On your left side. I'm not staying as long as I should be. Oh, no, no, no. What happens is when we walk, okay? Her knee bends and it's absorbing impact. Okay, I think for so long you've been compensating that knee is straight on the left side. Exactly. So what we want is we want the right side to do what's natural. It's gonna bend a little bit, but then you're gonna straighten it out as you walk over it. That's absorbing impact. Also, it keeps your center of gravity kind of consistent. Otherwise, you're gonna fall over it. Which uses more energy. Which is what I do anyway. You're right. Because I always feel like my leg is long, even though it isn't. Mm -hmm. right? So what you want to do is just let things go that actually don't find it. Don't hold anything back. Don't work hard. You're just half asleep, you're totally exhausted, you're just walking down the street. Almost like a lazy walk. What's that one? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're watching you meet. There you go. Don't call. There it is. There you go.